Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. It is 9.05. Is that right? Um, so obviously I've showered and washed my hair. I just did my skincare yesterday. I got dermaplaning as a follow-up from microneedling that I did a few weeks ago. And she said that my skin was looking great, that it got all of the like dry, dead skin gone. So I'm happy about that. Um, so yeah, today, what's the plan? I want to get out of the house. I have just been working a lot at home. Obviously I work from home most days. So I just want to get out of the house and do something different. But first I need to make breakfast. I do need to do a couple things on the computer. So it'll probably be like lunch time-ish before we go do anything. But anyway, I wanted to say hello, good morning, and I'll see you soon. Hello again. It's only like 1230. I had big plans, like I mentioned, to take you somewhere today. I just put sunblock on. I think something's wrong with our AC. Maybe the power flickering this morning had something to do with it. Um, but I finally got it like to actually turn on, but now it's blowing hot air and it's like continues to just get warmer in here. It's like 82 degrees in the house right now. So I've got fans on. I don't wanna leave Cash and Layla. It's gonna get hot in here. So Brian's gonna call the AC company. I'm pretty sure the people that owned the house before us, I think it was them that switched everything over to like eco-friendly, like everything in the house is like eco-friendly. So our AC unit included, and we've got like a smart panel kind of thing on the wall for the AC. Um, so it shows that it's on cool and it's rotating, but it's just steadily getting hotter in here. So. Unfortunately, I think there goes my plans to go out and do something fun today. I did finish editing. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm just gonna hang out here until the AC people come and I'll let you know what they say. Happy Saturday. I am sitting outside of Charles Phillips Antiques. Oh, I already turned my car off so I can't put you there. Hang on. Okay, there we go. So it's about 11.20. I needed to get out of the house today. I know yesterday I had big plans to go and do something. So we had a company or the company that put the initial like AC unit and all that stuff in. Uh, they came out and looked at it. Apparently when our power flickered at like five o'clock in the morning, it reset the smart panel. So all he had to do was press a couple of buttons and it was good to go. He did say that we needed to update our like panel that you press to like turn the AC on and heat and all that kind of stuff. Uh, which I agree. It, it looks a little bit outdated and it's probably the like the same box they put in when they installed the AC. However long ago, it was like that when we moved in. Um, so anyway, it was fixed. AC kicked on, cooled off pretty fast and we were good to go. So this morning I woke up, ate breakfast, cleaned a little bit of the kitchen, that kind of thing and thought, you know what? Today's the day I'm going out. It is beautiful outside. There's not a cloud in the sky. Um, it's probably 75 I'm going to wear my sunglasses. I need to remember. I'm going to put them in my purse. I even, so I left my house and I was only probably like five miles from my house because Charles Phillips Antiques is probably, it's not in the same town, but it's only like 20 minutes away. Um, and I remembered, I think I'm remembering correctly. They only take cash or check. So I ran back home and got a couple of checks just in case. I don't need anything. We're going to say that out loud for everyone in this car, me and you to hear. I do not need anything. However, they post the prettiest, like coolest, unique stuff on Instagram. So we're gonna do a little bit of perusing, shopping, window shopping. And then tonight is date night. So Brian, it's his turn to pick. So we alternate. So it's his turn to plan out, choose, surprise for date night. So I don't know where we're going. I only told him that I wanted to wear my new black, like that satin dress from H&M. So we'll get ready together later. All I know is that I'm wearing that dress and that I need to be ready to leave the house at 7 p.m. Um, but also, this is a fun vlog because we're bringing Carly back. Well, I'm bringing Carly back. You didn't really see her that often. But I haven't really mentioned that much that I haven't been training with her. Like if people have asked me, then I've you know, like let them know that, no, I'm, I'm taking a small break. I had some like hip issues and... Anyway, it's all cleared up. Nothing was seriously wrong. It was just I wasn't properly stretching. So it was my fault, but I needed to get it all squared away. Carly knew that. Um, so I think it's been a couple of months since I've trained with her. You'll know that I have been, like I got a membership at a gym nearby and I've just been walking because, you know, I've been rolling out the old hips and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to have her back. We started again on Monday. 
Um, so, which I've seen her since then. We did a double date night one night and we like text and stuff all the time. And we're talking about going to try another like new restaurant in town, me and her and our husbands. So anyway, that's exciting. Um, I never thought that I'd be like, oh, I'm excited to work out. But more so than anything for me, I don't know why I'm just rambling right now. Um, but more so than anything for me, like mentally, it helps me so much, like sets me up for the day. Um, I've realized that I'm such a people person and like I talk a lot and hence why this is a job that I do. And like my job before that was a talking, like a news reporter where I talked a lot and stuff. I just enjoy other people's company. Like I, I feel like I need that throughout the day. And with this job, I don't get that. Like I work alone. Like, yes, I'm talking to y'all, but essentially I'm sitting in my car by myself. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't have any friends that also are off and free during the days. So it's a quite a bit of a like lonely job to have. And that's hard for me. So I'm just looking forward to having that interaction in the morning with her. And then it really does give me like endorphins throughout the day. So that's the plan. But first let's go to the bathroom. I parked near the bathroom and then let's just go peruse. And I'll show you a couple things that I saw on their Instagram this morning that were cute. Okay, so here we go. It's like eight buildings. And they all kind of look like this. Maybe a little bit different theme. But there's a ton of stuff. I'm pretty sure you read this backwards. Well, that would be 525. Let's see if we can find another one. Like this would be 475. For this green bench. And they just have like just some cool stuff. And look at this old dentist chair. That's wild. These are really cool for like fireplace mantles. If that's your thing. They also do like custom stuff. So, I don't know. It's just neat. I also wore these shoes that make noise because people told me that if you just walk it off, it'll go away. <laughs> so, we're trying to walk it off. This must be the door room. I was telling my mom on the phone, they have every single like size wise that you could want. I know a lot of people buy these for like pantry doors and stuff and they just look so cool. I'm pretty sure these are the pots I saw on their Instagram this morning. They say you can put plants in them. They're just a little bit pricey. I think anyways, what are they 140, 145. These are cool too. If you want some like iron gates outside of your house, this is nice. There we go. It's like a, a bar. You could put it outside, buy some chairs for it. So this is what I'm talking about. Dated 1842, original paint. Hand painted, single door wardrobe. To be original paint, I guess you have to have a key to get into it. They have a ton of these containers in every single room. I wonder if they're actually, like I just list a price they don't say anything else about them, so I don't really know where they're from. Like if they're actually like cool, unique, or, you know, or if you can just get them anywhere. I always think these are really cool. Like if you wanted to go through them and find a cool one and frame it for like an office or a study or something. This is my favorite room, it's the mirror room. That sort of looks like the one that we have at home. With so many pretty ones, but that's, I love that. And really all sizes, just depending on what you're looking for. Imagine this being in your entryway. Like such a cool piece. Teak doorway, 1880s mirror, 1475. That's so pretty. I'm in love with these. Like if I had a big enough house, I would put those out front. There's two of them. How pretty. And if you need a little outdoor bathtub, they even have bigger ones over here, like clawfoot looking bathtubs. These little ones remind me of just like outdoor, easy to clean kind of tubs. I don't know. Like if you were to wash your pets outside, this is what I would think of. But these are kind of cool too. That blue one's cool. And I'm pretty sure this is where they do the work, like refurbish or even maybe make some of these. Because I do see them post about them. Like if you wanted matching, you know, um... Bedside tables. These could be really cool bedside tables, like chunky ones. I do think I got a little bit turned around. I don't feel like I've gone into every building, but I've kind of reached where I keep seeing the same ones. 
All right, I guess that's it. I guess we'll wrap it up. I think I did go to every building. I just didn't go in order. So this one over here, see it says number one. I'm pretty sure I hit them all. But anyway, here's what it looks like from the outside. Okay, I'm leaving Publix. I haven't been gone from Charles Phillips Antiques long. I went to Publix and picked me up a sandwich for lunch. How about Brian's gonna text me and say, hey, it's more casual, not, don't dress, not, not too dressy. You know I'm trying to wear my black satin dress. So I texted him back and was like, so what you're saying is don't wear a black satin dress? And he hasn't responded yet. So I'm not sure if I'm wearing it tonight or not, because again, I have no idea where we're going. Um, but either way, I'll see you before we head out. I'll show you his outfit too. That really will tell me more of where we're going based on what he's wearing. We got Brian's outfit, polo. Slacks, dress shoes. He's ready to rock and roll, aren't you? <laughs> you can't really see me. Gosh, it's dark in here. I have on this Stitch Fix top, black flares. <laughs> I don't know where we're going, so we'll see you when we get there. Bonefish Grill it is. I said what? I said Bonefish Grill. We haven't been here in a while, so it'll be good. And here we are, we're back in the garage. It is like, 65 degrees outside but that sunshine's coming right in you can see it's a little bit warm i haven't pulled out hold on my like yoga mat that i use is filthy i don't even see my like normal pink one that i would put over the top of this so maybe we'll just mix like put down a beach towel or something for today i found it but let's get like where, so carly can have somewhere to sit <laughs> Okay, this one is really dirty too. So we're, we're not gonna use these today. I'm afraid of what might come out if I open it. So I have a ton of beach towels right here. I'll pull out if, like if we're gonna do stuff on the ground, then I'll lay them down. All right, so I have no idea what kind of workout we're doing today. I know we're doing Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, which is a little bit different. Y'all know for a while there, I was doing um, four day workouts with her. We're starting with just three this time because I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real sore. But I think stretching for me, like I made that mistake last time of not stretching enough. So it's really important. My back is a little bit stiff, but I've talked about that before. That for me happens when I haven't been moving enough versus like you would think it would be the opposite. Like, oh, you're doing too much, you need to rest. But for me, it's when I'm not doing enough. So I'm trying to stretch it out. I have my tripod. I don't know how Carly feels about being on camera. So we'll see if we end up recording the workout or not. Look at that hair. Is that my hair? Yeah. Look at it. There we go. Anyway, okay, there we go. I'll see you either during the workout or afterwards when I'm a little bit sweatier. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me adjust you. Okay, there we go. Um, one exercise I couldn't do all of the sets because I thought my legs were gonna lock up, but we did it. First workout, done. What time is it? Eight, not even 8.45. So we probably, yeah, 40, almost a 40 minute workout. We did do a lot of stretching in the beginning, which I appreciate because you, we know already. Um, so, I'm not gonna be able to uh, sit properly later. We know this, but that's okay. So today on the agenda, Brian had to run to work and then he has a just check up doctor's appointment. And then I'm gonna shower. I need to film my Bloom Chic haul. It finally arrived. So I'm gonna film that and then just hang out with him for the day. I wanna make um, a grocery list. We need to get a couple things, just stuff like that. So anyway, first workout done. We'll do it again on Wednesday. Wednesday is super early. And I think we're doing upper body on Wednesday. So I'll see you later today if we do something fun. If not, I will see you another day. Good morning, y'all. It is like, hold on. Is that better? Okay, it's like six, I'm gonna go with like 6.15, 6.20. It's early. 
I didn't see you again after Monday. Tuesday, I was just busy with work stuff, but my legs, if you're wondering how I'm doing, I'm not doing okay. <laughs> like my legs are so sore that it's like, it's just been hard to function. I did uh, grocery pickup, like curbside pickup for waters and coffee. And even from Ulta, I needed makeup remover. Instead of getting out of the car and having to walk into a store, I did curbside pickup. Now, I will say yesterday, I did manage to do, I walked 15 minutes on my treadmill at home because I felt like it would just work out some of the muscles. My goal was 30, but I only made it 15 minutes. So we're doing upper body today. We'll see how I like this time. She does have like PM times as well, but I just know myself and I know I'm such a morning a morning person. This is a little bit early. It's dark outside, okay? Um, but it's beautiful. Let me see if I can show you. It's like that throughout the whole neighborhood. It's so pretty. Here's a look at it this way. It's just so pretty. So I let my yoga mats sit over the last couple of days to get rid of all the spider webs, dust, debris, all that stuff. So they're laid out good to go. This is Carly's seat, <laughs> as per usual. Brian uh, was leaving for work, was it Monday, maybe Tuesday. Um, and he was like, oh, Carly's seat is back. It is. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna work out and then I have something fun that I wanna show you. And then I guess we'll wrap it up. So post or pre Taryn, I'll see you, see you in one second. For me, it'll probably be an hour. If I don't sweat too much, I might just go get back in the bed. Is that weird? Maybe not too much. If I don't sweat, I'll go get back in the bed. Or I could just like hop in the shower real quick and then get back in the bed. Because Brian won't even wake up to get ready for work until probably 8.15. So we could get like another hour's worth of sleep together. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll see you later today. Okay, workout is done. It is now 7.40. I'm not tired anymore, so I'm just gonna stay awake. But I wanna show you this fun, exciting thing that I mentioned. So y'all know I love Rose Forever New York. They do the real roses, but they put oils and preserve them and all that stuff. So they're good for like, I think they say more than a year, up to a year. Um, but I've been working with them for quite a while at this point. So they reached out and said, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is October, they're doing discounts on all of their pink roses and they let me pick some. So I picked the white one, obviously with the pink roses. So for every pink bouquet sold, they will donate $2 to Breast Cancer Research. I will leave all that information down below. I also have a discount code. Taryn Denise 25 will save you $25. Um, I'll directly link for you to shop and stuff as well. But I have one similar to this, but the black box in my bathroom. And I just think the white one would be so pretty in there as well. I did give my mom one for Mother's Day. If you haven't been here a while, my mom had breast cancer in 2020. She's good to go. She's been cleared. She's all good. Um, but I will always support research and awareness and all that because not everyone is as lucky. So I love this idea. Also, these make great gifts. I've said so many times, um, instead of sending flowers, it'll cost you these days, what, like a hundred bucks to send a bouquet of flowers to somebody. You can do something like this and it comes in these really pretty cases or packages, boxes, and they last for a really long time. And they have different, like all different colors you could think of, pink, blue, purple, red, white, Oh my gosh, so many different colors, pink. Um, and then you can pick your container, round, square. They even have, I almost got the clear, like acrylic looking container, but I was thinking of my bathroom. Let me go get the other one and show you, hang on. These are in the bathroom currently, but I think I'm gonna switch them out for the pink. They're just, they're so classic looking as well. Here they are in my bathroom. Totally different vibe over the black ones. They just look so pretty on this little shelf, especially with my wallpaper. So yeah, thank you to Rose Forever New York for like always letting me pick what I love and not just sending me what the most like popular thing is. I don't know. I like being able to peruse the website and pick what I like, especially for like Mother's Day. I was able to pick um, a set that I thought my mom would really like. So again, link down below, Breast Cancer Awareness. They're doing $2 on every pink bouquet purchased during the month of October donated to breast cancer research, plus they're discounted. Did I mention that? I think I did. Discounted, free shipping, all that stuff. So, check it out. I fell asleep. It's like five o'clock. I, I haven't been sleeping for that long. I guess that 5.45, 6 a.m. wake up call was early. 
Um, I had big plans to like show you my lunch and do all the things, but I need to edit you at this point. Y'all know editing the vlogs takes me the longest because I have so much footage. Granted, this week I don't think I have that much. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to end it here because I'm going to feed the cat. I, gotta, <laughs> I have so much stuff to do. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe. This weekend, we have a fun mystery box video. And then what do I have? Oh, I did order some Shein stuff today. I've gotten a lot of requests for Shein. Um, so yeah, I'll see you this weekend. Goodbye.